Cha. Hello. It's Kendall here. If you're new around here, welcome. If you're not new around here, what is up, home skillet biscuit? So it's Saturday. I'm sure you've noticed. Uh, and Saturday is usually when I do something called Bad Moves and a Beat. This is sparkling water, by the way. I'm not getting toasted on this. <laughs> bad Moves and a Beat, the series on my channel where I talk about bad movies while putting my makeup on. However, let me give you the quick rundown of my last 48 hours. I was doing laundry, so I thought I had a sock on my floor and I went to proceed to go towards it only for it to start moving. It was a mouse or a rat, something that can scurry. Yesterday, when I should have been doing all of my bad movie and a beat preparations and stuff, I was freaking out trying to just avoid my house because I didn't know where the damn mouse was at. Lo and behold, here we are. We still have no mouse and I'm just living on the edge. I called the maintenance guy. You don't care. This is not what you clicked on this video for. I called the maintenance guy and he's like, oh, well, we'll just put a trap out. It never went in the trap. I bought an electric trap and it never went in the trap. I bought a bunch of repellent. So maybe that just made it scurry away, which honestly I would prefer. I don't want to kill a living thing, but I will. Hopefully it just went about its business. I feel like I'm living in like my own little personal form of hell. Cause I'm sitting here like, I think I hear a squeaker squeak. I say all that to say I had no time to actually make and prepare and write notes for a bad movies and a beat. So we're watching a bad movies and beat in real time together, reaction style. I've done this two other times. You guys seem to like it and said, hey, every once in a while, if you wanna switch that in, be sure to do it. But this time, I don't even feel like putting my makeup on. I don't wanna do anything. <laughs> it scurried into my room. So I didn't sleep in my bedroom. I'm panicked. I'm like looking under my bed. Are you hiding under there? Do you have the little rat babies under my house and stuff? I just wanna relax. So instead, we're doing a bad movies and a mukbang. Not really. I'm gonna just sit here, watch the movie and eat and hopefully it's funny in post. We'll see what happens. Uh, I was gonna skip this week, but I realized I had a sponsor. Shout out to Skillshare. <laughs> by the way, here's my ad run for Skillshare. Take it away, ad roll Kenny. This video is sponsored by Skillshare, an online community with thousands of inspiring classes for the creative and curious. Explore new skills, develop existing interests and get lost in your own creativity. Any way you wanna get creative, whether it be drawing, writing, journaling, or creative ways to manage stress, practice mindfulness. Skillshare is a great way to figure out how to do all of those amazing things. So when I saw iPad illustration, line drawing essentials for fun and flexible art by Robert Generette III, I was super interested, bro, because I have an Apple pen. I've never used really my Apple pen and I feel like it's well overdue. Let's get out there, start Apple pen and some stuff. And I'm personally really familiar with traditional art. So it is a whole new art firm. So it's a fun time to see what can be done and there's a lot that can be done. Skillshare is giving away a free premium trial membership to the first thousand people to click on the link below. After you explore your creativity a little bit, it's only $10 a month after that. So for more information, feel free to look in the description box and let's get on to this week's video. So this is what I'm eating today. A giant bowl, it's mostly salad. It's kind of like, it. I, I call this like Bibimbap's distant cousin. I have like a giant bed of lettuce under here, some rice, beef that was gonna go bad. So it's ground beef, which is, <laughs> we love authenticity. With like a brugogi-ish sauce, some cucumbers and carrots. I have kimchi here and I'm gonna eat these things while we watch the movie. Speaking of the movie, what movie are we watching? It is October, for, so I figure let's do the next few weeks on the spooky side. Technically we started a little early last week when we looked at Splice, which was Woo! An experience and a half. A truly and utterly disturbing fever dream from my early years of high school that is so much more disturbing now that I am an adult. Um, if you haven't seen that movie, you can check it out up above or you can check it out in the Bad Movies in a Beat playlist. This is going in that. I don't plan to mukbang most of these. I just could not be bothered this week. <laughs> This week, we're looking at a dumpster fire that I never got around to looking at that y'all keep requesting of me. And I watched the first five minutes of it and then realized there is no point of me making a bad movies and a beat on this. This is just straight up nonsense. <laughs> I'm talking about the highly requested film, Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter. So I see you sitting there saying, hmm. It is spooky season, like I said, so we're looking into more horror movies. So from what I garnered, this movie is like a comedy horror musical? Girl, I'm all types of confused and befuddled even before we got here, so. 
But yes, it's an incredibly low budget 2001 film. It was made with a hundred thousand, oh, that's more than I thought, a hundred thousand dollars Canadian. Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter. It's a 2001 Canadian horror parody film, which deals with Jesus's modern day struggle to protect the lesbians of Ottawa, Ontario from vampires with the help of Mexican wrestler El Santo. Girl, what? Ah, yes. Another Hear Me Out. For those of you that are new, we'll give you the quick rundown of Hear Me Out films. If you've been here enough, you don't need to hear this explanation. Hear Me Out films are just preposterous and usually sound like the ideas of a bunch of drunken people in a room that just said, hey, hear me out. Killer Tomatoes, Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter. They're usually charmingly self-aware and awful. To some extent are able to completely disconnect themselves from all accountability because they're so bad and they never meant to be good. Perfect thing to distract that at any moment I could have a little pet scurrying around here. I don't know where it went, bro. That's the thing that's, <laughs> that's the thing that's killing me. I don't know where it went. I just want my piece back, bro. Hello, update. Okay, in the middle of me editing this video, I look over to my side and I see it just chilling, just chilling at my patio door. And I see the little hole has been burrowing in and out of. This thing was gaslighting me. I would hear a squeak and then that little bastard would run out and then come back in and run out and come back in. Loki, it was kind of cute. And it was just standing there for a hot minute. And I would consider like picking it up and throwing it back outside. Got some gloves and was gonna do that. But then he ran back into the hole and that's how I discovered the hole. You don't care. You did not click on this video to hear about my trauma. Okay. So anyway, the movie is high quality. So of course it's available fully on YouTube and uh, I'm gonna watch it. I know. Finally folded. I feel like such a, such a sheep. He has seen and heard your sin. Lord Jesus, your endless, shameless sin. This is like outside Planned Parenthood. Oh, ye who are gathered here in the darkness. Do you imagine that you are here to witness naught but an hour of flickering fictions? Do you imagine that your lives are not in jeopardy at this very moment? Who's this guy? I don't know why that reminded me of my mom. She had an audio Bible when I was a kid. That thing was terrifying. In the beginning. Not a 80s techno beat. <laughs> F for F Wonderland on Reddit. I never understood why vampirism had to be so sexual. They can never just bite. They have to do the whole like, you know, the taste the fear thing. Have I told you guys about how I bit this kid in high school? I feel like I have, but I don't know if I've told it on YouTube. It was a simpler time. Like I get it. I'm not saying it's right to like kill people and drink their blood, but I definitely get it. Where have all our lesbians gone? You know what to do, gay Twitter. It's like they knew this will be a meme one day. <laughs> Lesbian shortage. Why does this movie look so old? Yes, Tony Hawk underground skater. Will there be enough? Oh, there'll be plenty. Is that urine? Did you give him a bottle of piss? Where's the hundred thousand dollars going? Cause it's obviously not video quality or voiceover quality or script work or costumes or certainly not a wig. A showdown between the punk lesbian vampires and the savior of mankind. I've never seen this episode of Charmed. That was a bad joke. I've become so numb. I can't. He does look like Chester Bennington. Rest in peace. I've become so numb. I can't hear get there. Wow, this fight scene is so much longer than it needs to be. Jesus. But seriously, where did the hundred thousand dollars go? Cast? I feel like this is a senior college project. You didn't have to pay them. Yes, all Trey Wig. Matthew. Mark. Here I am at my destination. 
This is giving me very like Jonestown recruitment video. Moving and sing, we can fight side by side. I love how they made Jesus Christ just look like a dude named Dan. I've slept in worse places. Maybe that's why it was $100,000. They did all the audio in post. How tedious. They really shot this movie with a tin can. Hello, hey Zeus. You don't know us because we've never talked to you before. We are the atheists. Let's get on with the conversions. I don't know, this choreography, it's just giving me very like, kindergartners in a park. After seeing WWE for the first time, they're like, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> I will say, I'm waiting for it to be funny. We're about 20 minutes into an hour and 24 minute film. Freshman year final script, musical theater. <laughs> Ooh, not a white dude with dreads. Ugh, and a white dude with a fro. Whatever they get, they deserve it. I've never trust a white man with dreads. Like even before I even knew that there was a concept that it might be problematic, it was more so it just didn't rest right with my spirit. Ooh, leather pants. Y'all remember that? Let's bring back leather pants. You know, to early 2000s. I remember dudes used to walk around in leather pants. It was a good time. A lot of thighs. Bring back leather pants. Hey Fenty, you always doing some stuff. Bring back some leather pants. Y'all got the man's bosters. Let's see some boy booty and some leather. Sorry, I'm off topic because there's nothing really to say about this movie. It's not really anything to say. They've been fighting for like three minutes. Why does this sound like a level on Tekken Tag Tournament? Ling Xiaoyu in the middle of like, <laughs> the street in Hong Kong or something. I'm on your side, Rabbi. See? No thanks. God, this audio. We suspect that the vampire's vulnerability to light has something to do with the fact that light exists as both a particle and a wave. Again, depending on the observer. Girl, what you the hell it? are you talking about? I think we should get you some new clothes. Something a little more urban this is so stupid i it's but i will say beyond like the sacrilege uh it's it's just not funny so far i'm waiting for it to be like truly like wow that was hilarious hey can i try this on in the back my blue-eyed soul brother eh not an outfit montage no No. Ew. That's the shirt he picked? Oh, okay, good. That was about to be the most sacrilegious thing that we saw in this movie. There's a new player in town. I need to tell Johnny. Where's he at? Where's your eyebrows at? That's how you know she evil. All right, I'll give you six. That won't even buy me a pimp steak. Come on, put your weight on it. Seven? See, now you in the hood, but you weigh down the block. <laughs> Now you in the hood, but you way down the block. Okay, pause, pause. I just paused. Sorry, that was a lot. That was a lot of simulation all at once. First of all, I don't even know what the hell is going on. Let's start, let's start there. We're 30 minutes in. I have no idea what I'm watching. I don't know how. I, I don't. I don't. I, 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 don't know how to comprehend. He's giving me that dude that made the rock version of Anya. You're okay. Smooth criminal. You're giving me alien ant farm, my guy. <laughs> the only gentrification of a song that I was ever like, you know what, this is still good. I'm, I, I approve of this. I love how she's trying to be inconspicuous, but she's wearing a metallic red pleather suit. This is the most boring. <laughs> I've never seen a movie that has such an absurd concept, but the actual, God, I'm bored. I'm bored. That is not how skin work. <laughs> the pseudoscience of religion. Is that like turkey? Is that turkey lunch meat? The procedure's simple. And the anti-rejection drugs will leave you in a pleasantly euphoric state. <laughs> Who the hell are you talking to? Your problem now, should it? Oh, uh, uh, oh no. Oh, what the f How's about over lunch? I'm famished. They couldn't find some fangs that fit his mouth. Man, I will say that this movie really is relying heavily on the concept just being absurd enough that you would think it would make it entertaining by by nature. It's like, ah ha ha, 
Kung Fu Jesus, but it's actually not that interesting. I'm very bored. Well, she did. This same question does a certain lawyer ask of our Lord in Luke 10 30. Who is bored? Please help me. Sorry, mate. My compassion ended at 6 p.m. <laughs> Let me tell you something. LGBTQ oh, people you know always help me in situations. The LGBTQ people always come through. Oh, might have spoke a little too soon. Oh, don't do, <laughs> don't do our, don't do our trans representation like that. Oh no, oh no. Good night, sweet prince. That's how I'm gonna be kissing the homies ah. once quarantine is over. <laughs> I missed you. Real moist. <laughs> Banana bread and plain yogurt, in case you were wondering. You don't care. He bought the shirt? Oh no, he bought the shirt. I thought, uh, eesh. What the hell, why is, everybody, why is everybody grabbing her ass? Hey man, watch it. You get an O in the Kool-Aid, and you don't even know the flavor. I know you know Why does he Gaga. talk like this? Tell me what- Ah, okay, okay, I call her the jazz. You the boss dick. I mean, he's white and this still feels racist. <laughs> I know you're probably watching this. You're like, Kendall, I have no idea what this going on because of, you know, you're editing and because, of, you know, I, I can't follow the story. Sweetie, this is it. This is the film. This is not a good movie. And not even in like a, it's comically bad. It's just actually so boring. <laughs> what is with people grabbing her ass? I, think I said Tekken Tag Tournament. I think I actually put my finger on it. It's that music that they were playing in one of the first levels. This is an obscure reference, a super obscure reference. But what of the, what of the levels of Angel of Darkness, Tomb Raider? Spot on. <laughs> At this point, I just, I feel like I should just talk because otherwise I'm going to fall asleep. This is so boring. Um, <laughs> yeah, they should really remake Angel of Darkness. What is with people touching her ass? This is giving very early 2000s energy though. Like very early 2000s energy. If I could find you now, things will get better. 18 minutes. <laughs> I have 18 minutes. I just have to make, Jesus, I just have to make it through 18 minutes. <sighs> Boy. The question though, why lesbians? They're deviants. No one will miss them. There's nothing deviant about love. Where were they this whole time? But you're at the wrecking yard on TV live. I'm everywhere. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> I want to go home, and I am home. I just. I want to end. Cause he is the light. <laughs> I mean, I still wouldn't trust her because she don't have no eyebrows. But why is everyone grabbing her ass? It is nice, but like, this is so creepy. I just wanted to stop. I don't, I don't even, I don't want to watch the credits. I just don't. What the hell was that? Oh God, the comments. Wait, as an atheist, I can confirm we travel like clowns in a little car to attack Jesus. This is the best movie I've ever seen. What was that? <laughs> I can't even say like, I ironically loved that experience. That was awful. <laughs> That's all for this week, I guess. If you like this video, be sure to like this video, I guess. Comment down below more crappy movies I should watch. That's it. Particularly horror related, it is spooky season after all. And I'll see you guys next time.